Hey guys, it's Mary and I am back again with another video for you guys for the month of May and I decided to make this themed um, revolving around bumblebees and honeycombs and honey and that's what I'm going with as you can see if you can't already tell. Um, I'm going in with my micron pen. Oh, and before I start dwelling in more um, on the process, uh, I will be linking everything that I am using down in the description box below as I mention things on its way. Um, but yeah, I'm using my Micron 05 version with the 0.45mm tip, I believe, um, to ink everything in the May spread. Or the May cover page, I'm sorry. And yeah, if you guys, um, I don't know if this audio will come out sounding well to you guys or if it sounds a little different it's because i long story short i had to basically factory reset my laptop and it had to be done because of um constant like uh browser pop-ups saying that i my laptop is infested with like malware or not malware but like infections or viruses and whatnot so and it wouldn't stop even though i kept closing the tab down i didn't like click it on anything but yeah long story short I had to do that and I had to reinstall all of my equipment for my recording in uh, my Vegas and my, uh, my audacity recording software so yeah very sad day but that's okay because I'm working with what I have um, but anyway going back to planning um, this theme was inspired by a Pinterest post that I sh uh, that I saw um, and I will leave that somewhere in this video feed somewhere and I will also be linking that um, Pinterest uh, post down in the description box as well so you guys can reference that if you guys want to follow but um, it was based off of that and the only difference I made was um, I did a little like like bee flying a flying bee trail and also the little dripping honey and I thought that was pretty cute so and then moving on I'm going over and doing my monthly spread because obviously uh, I want to go with the traditional cover page monthly spread weekly spreads and whatnot excuse me I kind of had a burp there <laughs> anyway um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to do the same thing that I did for the month of April because it was more simplistic. Uh, I wanted to go with more simplistic because this month is the last month of the semester and I want to try to focus all of my energy in studying and trying to do well in my- Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Classes. Um, but yeah. And then next up I have um, the Habit Tracker and the same- uh, this title, the titles for most of these, or all of these pages and spreads are uh, based off of the cover page. So there's the capital lettering with the cursive lettering in the middle, and I thought that was really cool. I'll leave snippets of photos to show you guys what I mean, um, if you guys don't know. And um, I'm counting, I'm using the fing my fingers to count like spaces and stuff because uh, when I drafted this with my pencil and I sketched it out, I didn't realize how far shifted to the left it was. So I wanted to um, try to count how many spaces it would take for me to shift it to the center. Um, and I think I did a pretty good job with it, if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah. And this habit tracker is based off of um, My Life in a Bullets um, habit trackers that she did. And I love her work. I, I honestly love her work. And also Amanda Ridgely's and Steady Quills. Those three are like my go-tos when it comes to like ideas and stationery and notes. And like all of their reviews on uh, stationery and stuff. Ugh. Anyway, enough fangirling. Um, and probably scaring you guys. But anyway, back to this. Um, I'm going to um, dot, loosely dot everything. So I'm just like basically going in and dotting everything. And then what you would do is that every time you finish a habit for the day, then you would 
darkly circle it in or dark make the dot darker um, just to indicate that you completed the task or the habit for the day and I thought this was a really minimal but clean and nice looking habit tracker so I wanted to try that out to test drive it out to see if it looks cool so then I can try doing it for and, and try to incorporate it for future months so yeah um, the habit some of the habits that I I'm tracking because um, I don't really know what else to say is that I am tracking like my sleep uh, if I slept the standard um, sleep scheduling I guess would that would account for it is seven to eight hours of sleep because I'm trying to get to the habit of trying to do that also um, I try to clean my room every day by the end of every day um, in addition to um, drinking water every day, reading 30 minutes every day. Um, I wanted to try to incorporate that too. Um, but yeah, those are just a few of the things that I wanted to track. Um, you guys can definitely see uh, what I'm tracking, but it's kind of like small when I'm trying to record and looking at the video when I'm doing the voiceover. So um, I can't really see ex entirely what I did for my tracker, but there's that. And then the next spread is my brain depth spread. I didn't know necessarily what to do for this page because I'm really lazy with uh, finance trackers so I wanted to cut that out for this month and I'll restart um, I'll, I'll start that back up again in the summer hopefully fingers crossed but um, yeah and then here I'm going in with my micron pen and my Stadler ruler uh, in the stainless steel version to draw all the lines. I didn't know where my Muji ruler was, cries, but um, I did find it. It's all good. I really love that ruler, so I was really very happy when I found it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going in with my Micron uh, 05 in this um, case. Most of the time I would use um, the 05 Micron pen because it just looks so dark and clean. I guess um, and uh, that would be for the outlining and then for like the wording besides like if I had to like write in the days of the week or like days of month within boxes and whatnot I would use the 01 or 02 in this case I would be I used the 01 version I don't really remember off the top of my head what mill what fine point that was but um, I'll definitely leave a link to that down in the description box below um, I feel like I've linked enough times with the micron pens to just state what um, what version and what type I'm using. Um, but yeah, if you guys if you guys are like, oh no, leave a link to where you found it. I don't want to go all the way back to other videos to find it. Then I'll, I'll definitely do that. Um, just give a comment down below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, and then right now I'm just coloring in with my Crayola Super Tip markers. These markers are amazing. Um, they're good for on budget trying to decorate stuff if you're trying to do it on a budget for bullet journalers. So definitely go check that out if you guys are interested in that. Um, but yeah, I'm going in with various shades of yellow and trying to mismatch and kind of make it look more honeycomb-like, if that makes sense. Um, and then I do have the little bees um, on there, uh, but yeah, I can't believe it's already May, and it's already at, like close to the end of the semester for me, like it's crazy. Like I know some of my friends, some of my quarter friends, um, they, they are like on a, a quarter system. I don't know why I just stuttered right there, but um, anyway, uh, I they don't even finish until like the mid middle of June so I feel sorry for them I'm sorry for you guys who are in the quarter system as well hang in there you'll make it you'll do well on your finals I wish you guys all the best in that but yeah for to my fellow students college student friends wherever you may be watching um, but yeah and then I'm going back in with the um, erasing, I guess. And I'm this. I'm using a high polymer 
eraser in the pink version and I did link that so many times um, so I'll just like state which version I use even though like it doesn't matter which color you use because it essentially does the same dang thing and that is to erase and it does it very well so if anybody wants to get a high quality eraser I would recommend high polymer um, but yeah and I'm going in and do doing all the um, colored circles for each of the days of the month and I'm also um, using my Scotch Bumblebee honeycomb um, washi tape because I didn't I didn't have a use for that until now and I'm very happy that I have a use for it because it was just sitting in my pouch just waiting to, for it to be used. And I'm just using some kitty scissors. I can't really tell you guys which ones I'm using. They're just basic kid scissors. I unfortunately don't know where my Scotch Marble Mint one is. If you guys remember or uh, me mentioning it or if I used it in some other videos. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I really like that those scissors. My sister used them. I believe she stole them, but I don't know for sure. I still believe so, but whatever. It's on the lookout. But yeah, I am I just did the uh, monthly, weekly, not monthly, the weekly spread. And I'm also using the Scotch washi tape in the Bumblebee version. And I will, I will be linking that one down below because this is the first time I've ever used it. So yeah. And then I don't really know why I had to keep going back and forth to the brain dump and habit tracker. I honestly don't remember that, what reason that was for, but yeah. Um, I tried to make this look kind of uh, neat and crisp and I really didn't want it to like bubble. You know like when you tape something down it like bubbles? The nice thing about washi tape is that um, you can, if you put it down, you can like re-stick and stick it again. But it can only do it for a certain amount of time, but oh well. So yeah, that is it for the month of May. If you guys really like this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Happy journaling. Bye guys.